Hey you guys, what is up? It is Ivy, Concrete Catwalk, right off the gate. Part two of last week's video, what is in my bag? This time, I am going to share with you what fits into my Chanel cloth metal loss. I'm gonna run it similar. I wanna have a little bit of discussion about this. Peace. I'm going to post up here and here my unboxing of this bag in case you missed it. You guys who ask about wanting to see these bags, I really appreciate it because it does give me a chance to revisit these bags and to have a sit down, open, frank discussion about my feelings about them. When I initially bought this bag, I was a little skeptical. Was I correct in purchasing this? Was this the right decision? The size of the bag. This is not a big bag. That was the initial feeling that this was a small bag but I had begun to warm up to the bag and over the course of time of ownership, the years, I have used this bag and my thoughts on it are, this should not be your first Chanel bag. This bag is perfect for a medium size or an expanded collection, meaning you've got other bags that foot the bill nicely with Chanel space practicality, ease of use. I'm gonna take the stuffing out. I want you to see what this looks like on the inside. I'm gonna stick my hand in. This is what you get, okay? My fingertips are at the bottom of the bag. This doesn't even allow my entire hand to go inside. This double flap is an attractive piece to the bag, but it gets in the way. Behind here is just a slip pocket area. Good for if you want your phone back here, if you want a credit card, it's a great spot for that stuff. If you try to fit something back here that's not slim or is a little on the bulky side, you're gonna get a little bit of pushback back here. I'm gonna turn her to the side so that you can see what we're working with. This is a fabric bag, a little more flexible as far as structure than what you would get in a leather bag, Chanel wise, that was the same size. You get a little bit of movability because of the cloth, not much, but you do get the ability to, if you needed to in a pinch, stick some things in here a little bit extra. However, let me just stay on track with this. Pros and cons. This is not a crossbody bag. If you wanted to force the issue, good luck. This bag looks good worn up on the shoulder. If you do it like this, or if you choose to do it this way, it looks great carried in hand. It looks great if you wanna carry it in the crook of your arm, or if you wanna carry it like a clutch. Sometimes I'll just let the chains wrap around my hands. It gives the vibe. Any options beyond what you're locked into carrying it, those are it. That's what you get with this. Let's get into the inside of the bag. This is an area where it allows for as Chanel described, love notes. This is where I keep extra cash. Goes right up in that zip compartment and it fits just nicely. At the back of the bag, you do get a slip pocket. I don't keep anything in this slip pocket other than a credit card. That is about all that is good for this back area. Or if you have a key, one single key, and you need to, you know, you leave in your hotel room and it's a key card, whatever. Perfect for that. I'm very careful with where I land her, where I put her down, because the fabric, this, if it comes in contact with anything, it's just gonna suck it up. It's just gonna absorb it. I don't like to baby bags, but I am very mindful about where this lands because we're not trying to be intentional and destroy the bags. Let's get into what we can get inside right off the gate. This is not gonna fit in here. Only essential essentials for this. If I'm going out for the evening and I wanna make sure that I have some cards with me, I will put my RFID case in here. Chanel card holder, and as you can see, that's how they start to stack up. I will take a lip balm with me. If I have loose money, you guys already know how that's rolling. The loose money is gonna go right up here. So I just go into the zip compartment and stuff the money right up here and zip it shut. Quick cash up here, this is the perfect spot for all of that. Okay, chewing gum. I like to carry a pen because you never know. Car keys go in here. What we have so far is my trusty lighter goes in here. My comb, okay? But I'll put some lotion in here at the back. 
this i cannot fit in here something is gonna have to come out if i wanted this to go in here normally what i do is i will just leave this in my car what you see is what is fitting in here i don't overstuff this bag at all because if you do one of the challenges that you get met with having to fight to get this flap shut i don't want to have to fight this lock some people because of the fact that there is the double flap you can snap this and you can leave this flap open if you choose to do that and you can carry it like this sometimes i've done that but i find i don't prefer to do that because i think it just makes the bag look a little messy and i don't really like that look for this type of a beautiful simplistic bag i could fit loose sunglasses in here right at the very top and there you go they are in here but these are more sleek sunglasses some of my bigger sunglasses with cases they're not going to fit in here but this is about as good as it gets if you need your essential essentials this is going to be your quick and grab i'm going on a date we're going out formal using this bag i have carried this for a couple days at a time this bag works best on weekends or if you're going out on friday night that is what this bag is it looks great it's streamlined it is simplified unless you're a minimal type person this is not a daily driver being able to access and do things i'm always thinking to myself are you ready are you ready are you ready to just jump up in here grab your cash or grab your card and go because that's what this bag sets you up for you've got to be ready this is not the type of bag you want to be standing there fumbling around trying to figure out oh where's my card where's my this this is your money's at the ready your keys at the ready your sunglasses are on top you can open a bag put them on and be out the door this is a quick coffee bag is what i call it have everything you need at your fingertips right away so that you know where to go to get it because if not you're gonna be fumbling around with this and i just think that for something like this for the size that it is there are other chanel bags that are worth picking up before you even get to this bag it is a great piece do i enjoy carrying this bag i absolutely do i enjoy carrying this i enjoy the fact that the chanel chain around maxi bag and this bag are somewhat of a challenge because you've got to be thoughtful and you've got to be mindful about them i'm glad that i picked these bags up at the point in time that i did so you guys there you have it that is the review of this chanel menelasse cloth double flap bag what can fit in this bag and my thoughts about my ownership experience i just want to give you some insight behind what it is like with these bags if you love chanel these bags are great additions to add to your wardrobe and i hope that it assists you in making a decision about whether or not these bags are for you or not for you but just understand that with each comes pros and cons but the love for the bags is nonetheless there you have it let me know in the comments below your thoughts do you own one of these are you considering purchasing one of these let me know in the comments below ask me any questions you may have about the chanel chain around bag as well and check out that video too if you do not want to miss out on anything that i post you know what to do like comment and subscribe to my channel i post videos every sunday so if you do not want to miss out tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If there is anything you see there that you'd be interested in, please feel free to leave me a message there or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there as well if you see anything in my Poshmark closet that you like. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.